What does it mean to fear God? Pharaoh was the king over that land. Pharaoh did not want to let God's children go. He wanted to have control over them. Lives of God's children. Pressing hard work. And God sent Moses, let his people go. Pharaoh refused to do that. We're God's children. We're guilty of being just like Pharaoh. Pharaoh wanted control over God's children. We want control over our lives. We want to do things our way. God tells us something. We don't want to listen to it because it doesn't align with what we have going on. What we fail to realize is, is that our lives are not our own. I know you guys might have heard that song. Life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself to you. The whole point of that song is giving ourselves to God. God created us and formed us for his purpose and his will. With your unique talents and gifts and abilities to perform his will. Tools, vessels for what he wants to build and create through us. Hammer and fix the house or owner of that home that built the house but he has to do it through the tools every tool has its own purpose and all of us serve a different purpose created with a purpose to fulfill that purpose so we can be the the hammer trying to do a screw job because the hammer is like no i'm a screwdriver this is this is what i am and you can't tell me otherwise and i'm gonna live my life being a screwdriver even though i'm created to be a hammer through so much heartache feel fulfilled and distance ourselves from god i can't work in our lives because we have this control of our lives to do god's will means i must allow him to work in my life he wants to do in my life now what i want now we go through time at the hard time at the hard like pharaoh pharaoh had these plagues and things that god sent at him we go through the same thing we're that we're causing ourselves we're not in god's alignment we haven't repented. True repentance is a change of the heart, a change in our mind. Mind, my actions, my thoughts, and changing into what God wants. I'm, it hit me earlier because I think that the plan that I have for me, I'm a hammer. My plans for my life is to be a screwdriver. That is much better than the plan that God has for me. I think that I, using a tool reference, but is a, a screwdriver much more beneficial than a, a hammer? Both of them are very important. He won't have success until he repents, change his ways, lives in his own calling as a hammer. Realizing uh, the hammer has so much purpose and what it was created to do, created me to do something. I have a purpose and a plan and I'll have success and God will bless, God will bless me doing what he wants me to do, not what I want to do for my life. What does it mean to fear God? That sounds so scary to fear God. I'd be loving if we fear like, let's take that out of context. God is our father. So God is our good father. And like any good parent, a child doesn't fear the good parent, right? He has a respect for a good parent. He, he submits to him. He humbles him. The good parent will have discipline and consequences if he tries to do that. That's the fear of God that we must have. We must have that reverence or fear of God that, you know, like standing in his awe and saying, you know what, God, forget my ways, forget what I want. God, I want to do things your way. God, I want to be, I want to be aligned in your will because God, I am under you. You know best. I don't know what's best for my life. So God, I just trust you, God. I'm going to lean on you, God. I'm going to, I'm going to put your ways above my own. I don't know everything, God. You know everything. So I want to conclude this. We must have a fear of God because if we want God to work in our lives, God can't work in our lives for what we want to do. God has to work in our lives when we're in alignment to what he wants to do. But if I'm over here and God's over here, then we, we're all out of whack. It's not until we humble ourselves, because a lot of times we put ourselves here, we be above God and way off to the side. It's not until we get on a, aligned with God and then put ourselves, submit ourselves under him, it's where we are perfect alignment to God. I love y'all and I hope that helps.